binocular balancing is a test done to equalize the accommodation of two eyes. But why we have to do this test? During monocular refraction, we place the occluder in front of the non-tested eye. The occluder acts as a near target in front of that eye. The awareness of the near target can induce proximal accommodation and accommodation due to vertence in the eye behind it. So that the eye being tested may also be accommodating. Unequal accommodative effort from the eyes may lead to over minusing or underpressing the patient which may end up in asthenopia. In this test we are balancing the accommodation of two eyes. This test is otherwise called as equalization test. When it is done, once the monocular subjective refraction has been completed for each eye, it is time for the binocular balancing test. It should be the last step in the subjective refraction and the correction you got from this step should be the final Rx. There are few methods to do this test but we will discuss alternate occlusion in this video. The prerequisite for binocular balancing test is that both eyes should have equal visual acuity. This test is not indicated in monocular patients, strabismus, aphakia, pseudophakia, complete press biopsy after, six, after 60 years, if binocular subjective refraction was performed earlier, if there is large difference in the visual acuity between both eyes, suppression and amblyopia. Procedure The patient is asked to sit, sit upright with the monocular correction in the trial frame and both eyes open. The test is performed at a distance of 6 meters under normal room illumination. You should start the binocular balancing procedure by adding plus 0.7 per diopter sphere to both eyes so that the patient's visual acuity is blurred to 6.9 or 6.12 level, assuming the BCVA is 6.6. Ask the patient to look at one or two lines above the BCVA. Isolate that line for easy identification. Now, alternately cover one eye and then the other while asking the patient which eye sees the chart more clearly. You can ask either I1 or I2 or right eye or left eye. Let's see the probable response from the patient for their question. They may say both eyes sees the target equally clear. It means the accommodation is already balanced. In order to confirm that, add plus point of a spherical before both eyes and repeat the test. If balance is correct, both eyes will lose equal amount of clarity. Now, both eyes are in perfect balance. Then we can defog both eyes at the same time in pointify steps until reaching their BCVA and we can write the final prescription. Another response for that question would be, one eye sees it more clear than the other. Here for an example, we will consider that the patient is saying left eye is more clear than the right eye. So, we have to add pointify diopter in front of the clearer eye. In our case, it is left eye. Now again, alternately occlude and ask which eye is more clearer. Now we may expect three different responses. First response, both eyes is equally clear. Now we balance the accommodation, slowly defog in point of steps and write the final Rx. Second response, even after adding point of adapter lens, the same eye is clear than the other. In this case, left eye is still clear than the right eye. Now again add point of adapter in front of left eye and ask for the response. If they say, now both eyes are equally clear, we can defog and write the final prescription. But if the patient still says left eye is clearer, it's time to check for two things. Whether the monocular refraction was done correctly or did the patient fully understand the test procedure. Because more than point per adapter of accommodation balance happens during incorrect refraction only and may not be due to unbalanced accommodation. Third response would be a reversal. It means first the patient said left eye is more clear than the right eye but after adding point of adapter they say now right eye is more clear than the left eye. This is an immediate reversal. In this case defog and leave the dominant eye with a slightly better acuity. Let's say an example the prescription is right eye minus 1 with minus 0.5 at 180 left eye minus 1 spherical uh, visual acuity is 6 by 6 in both right and left eyes. So we fog with plus points and per adapter and started our test. So the patient first say right eye is clearer than the le left eye. So we add point of adapter in front of right eye. Now after alternate occlusion, they said both eyes are equally clear. 
so we balance the accommodation slowly defog in point by step and write the final rx in the trial frame we have minus 1 with minus 0.5 180 from the monocular refraction value and plus 0.5 adapter from fogging in the left eye we have minus 1 adapter so the final prescription will be right eye minus 0.75 with minus 0.5 180 and left eye is minus 1 spherical the advantage of alternate occlusion test is it is comparatively easier than the other methods and do not require many lenses or prisms. But the patient may find it difficult to compare the clarity of two eyes as the images are not shown simultaneously to the patient and they can only compare the clarity by mentally remembering the previous one. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Subscribe to Lipsland Optometry for more optometry and eye care videos.